Yeah. Yeah. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to Trailer Spotting. I am AJ Jones. I am Michael Finn. We're here at Nova House, and this is the lovely... Keela J. Brown. Keela J. Yay. Brown. She is back with us, and today we are doing something in the ballpark of Keela's kind of jam. Mm-hmm. The thing that you like the most, which is like sci-fi and action. Mm-hmm. So we are going to do uh, the trailer for a movie called Replicas, starring Keanu Reeves. Keanu Nanu. Yeah. Tell me about it. Initial thoughts. I, Replicas. I know nothing about this <laughs> at all. Uh-huh. I didn't even know Keanu Reeves was in a new movie. Mm-hmm. So. That's not John yeah. Wick. That's not John right. Wick. Yeah. yeah. Which, I like the John Wick right. movies. Keila, yeah. have you heard anything about the movie Replicas? I've heard the title, like, mm-hmm. just in passing and reading different articles, but I know nothing mm-hmm. about this. It sounds like on IMDb it's listed as completed, so it sounds mm-hmm. like one of those movies that's been... Just on the it's shelf. It's been on a shelf yeah. or it's been in Because the trailer post, dropped been, in 2017. Yeah, the mm-hmm. first trailer. So it sounds like one of those that maybe they ran some test audiences and they wanted to change it up and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But, um, I, yeah, I haven't heard a, literally a single thing about it since the I first time I've heard about it. I do know that Keanu Reeves is taller than I thought he was. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I met him in New York. Oh, wow. Hey. At a like, little bodega. Bodega's all, a bodega. Because you know, he lives there. Him What's and a bodega? Oh, man, bodegas are the best thing in the world. It's basically like um, like a deli one stop shop all in one, but it's gotcha. super small and gotcha. usually right. run by smelly men, and it's great. Ooh, you can get okay. anything you want. Uh, but he lived right across the street in the same building shot of the buffaloes, and so you know there's something weird going on. Um, but he's, he was there, and he's like super gaunt looking. He's, he's like six four or something. Like he's, he's super that tall. tall. He's tall dude. Um, and I saw him, and I just kind of nodded. He nodded. He clearly likes his privacy, but like. Seemed like an okay guy, but mm-hmm. he's way more gaunt looking than I thought he would be, and he's taller than yeah. I thought he would be. Yeah, interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so I, I mean, like, to be honest, okay. if this trailer came out in 2017, he may have shot this movie before he shot The Last John Wick. It's possible. So this this might have been on the shelf for a minute. Yeah. So we'll we'll see. Let's um, see how young he looks. All I'll say <laughs> is congrats to anyone, and the director is Jeffrey Nachmanoff. Mm-hmm. Credit to anybody who can get Keanu Reeves in a sci-fi movie. After the Matrix, Matrix. Yeah. if you can get Neo in a sci-fi yeah, movie, you're you're someone's gonna come and watch this thing. So, all right, this well, is. And a, I would say oh. this: like he's super dedicated about stuff, which I didn't realize. Like mm-hmm. if you watch some of the training he did for John Wick and like mm-hmm. how he is personal and all the stuff you hear about, like he's one of those dudes that like he still takes the subway even though he's a couple of money. Like, yeah. He doesn't live in a mansion, yeah, like nothing like that. He's just down to earth, which yeah. is cool. So I like cool. him. Like I respect so him. yeah, hundred percent honest, real reaction. We have no idea what's about to happen. So clearly. Let's, Let's let's do it, replicas. Here we go. Okay. All right then. Time since cardiac death. Seven hours, fifteen minutes. Break the mask. The human mind. Okay, I love Keanu, but I've seen him in like Bill and Ted and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. To think of him as like a scientist, like a super smart guy, it's taking me a second to get into this. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. It's I like funny. this. I like seeing him be and the she, family man. In this freeze frame right here, she does not look interested in this kiss at all. Alice Eve. Alice Eve. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I don't, I don't think there's any reason he can't play a scientist. No, but no, it, no. It, it, just it is. Takes a it is. It is very much that really standard. I'm a scientist. My life is great. I really was hoping this work. was actually my family's perfect. Now everything is going to go to hell. Yeah. No. Um, I was really hoping because it's replicas. I was hoping it was the sequel to the replacements, but it's not. So I'm, all right, I'm kind of out. <laughs> okay. Love you, your wife. Said it oh, so oh, she was into it. And we have scientists. I am. Did his he, wife kill herself? No, he's gonna have a child who's got some sort of medical condition, mm-hmm. and the child has to be saved by the scientist's dad. And yeah. the wife is obviously upset that scientist's dad is super into his science, and not the family. Right? Like we can see this. But then, what's <laughs> the replicas all about? I thought he was gonna Probably replicate his wife. Okay, yeah. So let's 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 take a take a little a little a little bet here. What do you what do you think the replica is? I think I he's I like... think he's gonna literally create a robotic son or daughter without telling his wife. Yeah. 
I thought like his wife did something wrong or somebody dies and he brings them back. Kind okay, of. I can see that. What do you think? Here? The kid. Yeah, the kid yeah. somehow becomes yeah. a replica. I'm mm. outvoted. <laughs> Bring in Gene Hackman. <laughs> Our daughter? There was a crash. You and the kids died. Oh, okay. Yeah. There is a reason human cloning is big. I'm dead. What if something horrible goes wrong? That guy, that guy again. Mm-hmm. He was just in the Godzilla thing. I mean, everyone needs a Verizon phone, though, so he's just always <laughs> giving people phones. That's he, the... Those commercials annoy the hell out of me. Okay, so wait. The family's dead, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but like, are they like hooked up to stuff, or are they like no, they brought them back sounds, to It life. sounds like he's literally like cloned them and brought them right, back. Right, he to cloned life. them, but they're still. I, I don't. No, 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 no. Like he, he, it's like Frankenstein. Like he brought them back to life. Okay, so they're not. Yeah. Clones, so what was the? So what like was the wife looking creations. at when she said, "What's going on? Tell me the truth." Was she looking at herself? I don't know. I, that's, mm. I thought it was her, but then when she walked in, I thought maybe it's the daughter. But. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's keep going. No, it isn't. This whole family, I think. Yeah, it's getting cute. Now it's iRobot. I love you. Forever. I didn't defy every natural law there is just to lose you again. Uh, that looks like him. Why is there two in the middle? Oh, because the eye is created. Or because he's created replicas of yeah. the eye. Um, I mean, yeah, initial reaction, like, okay, I, I like the little the little thing of, like, the family had died and he brought them back, mm-hmm. but it still kind of gives me that little bit of, like, yeah, kind of scientist who loves his family, who's going to yeah. do something Unethical. not right, yeah. and who the government's mm-hmm. going to come after him, and he's going to have to fight them, and it's all going to go to hell after a minute. Mm-hmm. Sounds yeah. about right. They lost yeah. me at the, the robot. Loss. Yeah. Yeah. It just does, like it looks like a mashup. It yeah, it looks, looks like a, a mashup of a couple different movies. Yeah, it's the same six cliche. Day, mm-hmm. I, um, I mean, kudos to Keanu for going out there and doing sci-fi again. And yeah. like you said, you know, for someone to get him to do mm-hmm. sci-fi again, but uh, it just none of it really convinced me of anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe I'm being overly critical. Who knows? It could be great. Mm-hmm. But mm. yeah, I mean, the the guy, the director Jeffrey Nack. Sorry, let me get this his name right. Nakmanoff. Um, looks like as a director, he's done tons of TV. Um, the Brave Legions, Hostage, Chicago Fire, Homeland, Detroit 187, tons of tons of stuff. Um, and then as a producer on a bunch of shows like Legends, Chicago Fire, Hostages. Let's see what he did as a as a writer. Yeah, he's a TV writer, so he he seems like he's oh, kind. He's been around. For he a seems bit. like he's kind of the, the that that network guy. Yeah, like he he kind of is really in the. Yeah, Oh, he wrote the day after tomorrow. He's one Keanu of the before. Yeah. nice. Um, yeah, so maybe. Keanu was in day after tomorrow. Mm. No, he was no, in yeah. the day tomorrow. the world. Oh, turned. the world stands yeah. still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so, I mean, he, he seems like a guy who's been around. Who's been around for a minute, and it, this kind of feels like maybe his first real big movie. Because mm-hmm. to, to be honest, the last thing like it says he's directed is The yeah. Brave on mm-hmm. in 2017. So he's got this movie. So maybe it's you know. Maybe he's wanted to direct it for a long time, and he's finally like hit the ground and like busted his butt to get the thing made. So mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, it's got a, it's got an interesting look, um, and I, you know, I'm I'm like I loved Ex Machina mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. like that. That really plays with like the AI idea and everything. But I'm I'm curious if it'll if it'll live up to the intelligence of that, mm-hmm. or if it's just that kind of cliche. Hey, I saved my family; they're back, and now things go wrong. Kind of like, yeah. um, what was the one, wasn't there one with De Niro where they did that? Like the good son, the godson or something I like that? I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, so what I will say, Jeff, Jeffrey Nachmanoff, I'm going to get that name right. 
He. The, I don't know what this is. No. It's another trailer. Another trailer. Oh no, it's started. Godzilla trailer again. It's taking over. <laughs> no, so so Jeffrey Nack. Nakmanoff. Gosh, I gotta get that right. So he. I'm just not gonna say it. Before this movie's come out, he has even now signed on to direct a movie called Five Against a Bullet. Whoa. After okay. his father is killed by a Mexican drug cartel, a man runs a successful political campaign to clean up his area. Though doing so will require staying one step ahead of the people who want him gone. Guess who it stars? Jackie, Jackie Chan. Chan. <laughs> what? So legitimately, Bruh? he signed on to do that. So, hey. That's cool. Good for him, man. Good get for him. Get, yeah. get those movies out there. Get that career going. Um, there was definitely a movie where they, like, yeah. replicated so, the kid. What do you Godson, What do you that? guys think? Uh, leave us a comment uh, below. Let us know. Have you seen the trailer for Replicas on your own time? Did you find something in there about the the plot of the story that we may have missed? Just let us know. And we're gonna cut the camera off and start we'll back up in a right second. Back. Leave us a comment below, guys. Let us know what you think. Have you seen the uh, Replicas trailer kind of on your own time? Uh, is there something that we may have missed? Something really deep and moving to you? Um, do you disagree with us? I mean, do you love it? What's the scale? What's the scale? Uh, the scale of the scale of like Bill and Ted to like The Matrix. Like to uh, me, I'm like. See, but I'll watch Bill and Ted before. I'm I like Bill. Yeah. And, I'm like Bill and Ted Two right here. Ooh. I'm like mm, yeah. not really looking forward to it. I gotcha. could see the potential of the story a little bit, but it just I don't know. Oh. Nothing that I saw really, really just seemed. To really grab me, I guess is the best way I can go. Akila, what you what you what you thinking? Um, uh, what's a negative Bill and Ted? Because I don't I don't want to see the Lake House. Ted and Bill. Yes, the oh, Lake House. This is yeah. the Lake House. The Lake House. Yeah. That, that's mm-hmm. exactly. What it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's um, one with the uh, where they put the, the the letter in the mailbox and it goes to like the future and the past. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's like two years or something. Yeah. Like you yeah. could just drive. Yeah. Like, it's two years is not that long of a time. Like just hang out for a while. And they'll show up. Like, <laughs> just live in the house. Yeah, just you chill. just stay there. Someone for a while. else is gonna come. Probably. Apparently. Uh, what do you think, uh, Finn? This to me is. Uh, I, I won't say it's as bad as the Lake House, but I'll give it uh, a Keanu much ado about nothing. Where uh, I want to like it, but I'm not sure I'm gonna buy the performance. Yeah. You know, I'm not yeah. sure I'm gonna buy the whole package. So. I'm with you. I do just want to hear Keanu say, "This is my life's work." <laughs> I just really want to hear him say that. I, d- yeah. I did not defy every law of humanity. <laughs> just to lose oh. you again. <laughs> Replicas. Uh, awesome, guys. Well, uh, hit subscribe. Uh, give us uh, give us a like. Give us a follow. Uh, hit that little bell. Keep up with all. Uh, get notified of all of our new trailers that come out. We will have Keela J back because she uh, has some really good thoughts and opinions about uh, some of these trailers. Tell us what you want us to watch. Even yeah. it doesn't matter what time frame, what era, if it's a classic, whatever, we'll watch anything. Yeah, that's true. We literally will watch anything. Mm-hmm. Standards crazy low here on trailer yeah. spotting. Right here on NTV. See you guys.